guys, boy, Benny. I'm gonna show you a photo of somebody and it'll probably elicit a reaction. You know who this person is. It's Jack. If you're on, if you don't know Jack, you should know Jack. Jack started Twitter. Jack's the person who was in charge of arguably uh, the most important political f speech platform and, 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 and cultural speech platform in human history and remains so today. Uh, X is inevitable. You cannot defeat it. You'll never be able to create a faster, quicker messaging platform than X, known as Twitter, started by this guy. Now, a lot of people criticize Jack. Maybe you hate Jack. Uh, maybe you hate Jack because he was in charge of the regime that banned Donald Trump and some of the other greatest creators, including my executive producer, ALX, from the platform. Maybe you hate Jack because he's kind of a dirty hippie. But I'm going to tell you, that based on my, um, well, Christian experience of redemption and based on my understanding of the better nature of human beings over time, over time, uh, then maybe you should give Jack another look, okay? There's been some interesting things going on with Jack. Maybe you don't know Jack. Let's go ahead and scroll through Jack's profile. Still got six and a half million followers. Big profile, man. I mean, you started the company, right? So at the very least, you're you're absolutely a tech entrepreneur uh, and visionary. I mean, you started Twitter. Twitter's changed the world. There's no argument about that. Jack put up a post yesterday saying, don't depend on corporations to grant you rights. Defend them yourselves using freedom technology. You're on one, meaning X right now is a freedom platform that allows you to defend your own free speech. What's the next post that Jack has? He like shit talking the CIA. CIA said it found no link between itself and crack trade. <laughs> yeah, settles that, says Jack. Jack's really into Bitcoin, obviously. Um, he likes RFK. Oh, here's another, here's another post. In God we trust, all others we monitor, Central Intelligence Agency, says Jack. Now, of course, we know because the, the, the we know that the Twitter files that Elon Musk released that there was a massive, massive amount of government espionage and spying going on using his platform. Maybe he's bitter. Jack tweeting a lot about the beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Not really something that this uh, channel covers. Uh, but then I, I wanna show you something really interesting. Retweets, okay? So this is why we're on his timeline, to just show you that Jack, Jack is retweeting these things. The founder of Twitter retweeting, OMG, he's opening a wine bar a massive dig at Joe Biden and his completely shitty social media team. Mental health is health. Look at this. Both sides now chanting F Joe Biden. Jack reposted this. Jack reposted that the uh, pro-Palestinian side and the pro-America side on a college protest, uh, this is in Alabama, uh, this, pro this specific protest, but this is happening all across the country. Both sides are chanting F Joe Biden. This is something that Jack is reposting. So he's posting anti-CIA, anti-government intervention, anti-Biden memes and videos. What is happening? And now he's endorsing X as a free speech platform. Let's do a quick quick scroll all the way up to the top here. Don't depend on corporations grant you rights, depend on them yourself using the freedom technology. You're on one. This is like something that Tucker Carlson would post, something that Alex Jones would post, something like Tim Pool would post. This is something that Elon would post. But Jack, of all people, is the one posting it now. Well, could it be because Jack Dorsey has now left the board of the fledgling social media network, Blue Sky, calls Elon Musk's freedom technology? Uh, yeah, it could be. Jack Dorsey resigned from the board of his social network startup, Blue Sky, even as he gave an impromptu endorsement of Elon Musk's ex, calling it freedom technology. Wow. Dorsey revealed his resignation from Blue Sky, which, had, uh, which he had championed in the wake of selling other social media networks he co-founded, uh, Twitter, to Elon Musk, in an ex-post where he responded to the question about whether he was on the board of Blue Sky, a simple no. Dorsey went on to share a cryptic message about the necessity of open protocols, a term that referred to open source software coding that allows anybody to view it and suggest changes to the system, similar to how blockchain operates. So Jack Dorsey, redemption arc, wild. Wild. Uh, 
Don't depend on corporations to grant you rights. We've read that one. The ex post earlier reported on by Bloomberg suggests that Dorsey is mending his relationship with Musk after claiming last year the tech billionaire uh, Tesla chief hadn't proved himself as the best possible owner. Wild. When asked about it, Dorsey said, uh, no, uh, nor do I think he's acting at right after realizing his timing was bad, nor do I think the boards should have to force a sale, referring to Musk's $44 billion acquisition of then Twitter of to Bloomberg. So he's come around now, to X. He posted on Blue Sky a year ago that it all went south after Musk's radical transformation of Twitter, which now expand into the uh, into an app identical to YouTube's TV offering for smart televisions, and Musk quest to create the Everything app. Wow. So he so 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 he's abandoned his stupid uh, Twitter rival because there will never be a Twitter rival. Threads shows this. Blue Sky shows this. Mastodon, all these other stupid platforms show this. And now he's endorsing Elon. The original creator of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, has abandoned the leftist Twitter killer and endorsed X. <laughs> yeah, we are so back, boys. We are so back. Jack Dorsey leaves Blue Sky, says ALX. I asked ALX about this because ALX, um, I mean, he just knows these things, right? ALX told me when I sent him this, uh, when I sent him this post of Jack's endorsement of, of, of the X platform, he says Jack's biggest flaw was being absent hands-off CEO and trying to split time between his two companies and allowing activist employees to run his company and to ruin his company. As generally been pro-free speech, was complicit in what happened in 1.0 by not making decisions and deferring to lower-level executives, like Vijay Agati, who got completely bodied by Tim Pool. We'll play you that clip in just a second. Twitter's co-founder Jack Dorsey is back on X, and he's unfollowed everybody except for three accounts. So he had a big following. He unfollowed them all. Uh, except for Elon Musk, Edward Snowden, and Free Assange. Based. It is remarkable that somebody who'd follow Edward Snowden and Assange, you know, obviously these are two journalists uh, who are being persecuted by our federal government for doing journalism, right? Like, it, it just made them look bad, right? That was the crime. Anyway. Uh, it's amazing that he would allow his company to be used in such a manner as to effectively, like, Medal in an American election, which is what they did in 2020. You can see it in the, the FBI, like asked for like millions of posts to be taken down, taken down because they didn't like them. The FBI had like a workaround, like a, like a, they were able, the FBI and the people inside of the super state were able to effectively through a special portal that deletes all the messages. So they couldn't be FOIA'd. So it's all legal. Like we're able to message these social media companies and demand takedowns of the content they don't like. The destruction of your country, the obviously the destruction of the First Amendment happening in real time. Jack Dorsey, co-founder of Twitter, is no longer on the Blue Sky board. No more Blue Sky for Jack Dorsey. I've never been on the network. I've never even opened it up. Uh, what happens to he's on the board? He simply says no. Uh, what is Blue Sky? What the hell is it? Is it, it's like real? Let's look. Uh, okay, so I'm on, I'm on Blue Sky app. So what? So here's the first thing is an anime of some lady feeding cats. There you go. Uh, the next is, is effectively just like a copy paste. So it's just a copy paste x.com. That's it. Oh, the onions on blue sky with a uh, garbage take and some stuff about Palestine, some baby owls. Okay, this feed's garbage. This feed is complete trash. Oh, New York Times is on blue sky. Really? How many followers the New York Times have? Has two hundred and fifty thousand followers on blue sky. Hmm. Interesting. Makes you wonder if it's like really New York Times. Uh, another cartoon. Uh, super weird furry content. Uh, I'm not sure I can even show that. Uh, and then, yeah, really like nothing else. More cartoons. So it's like a, is it like a cartoon platform? I don't know. Then a photo of a squirrel in a generator. Oh, NPR's on here. Oh, good. <laughs> NPR. 
How many followers does NPR have? 85,000. Okay, got it. Well, we got uh, close to two and a half million followers on X. So yeah, not really worried about NPR. Uh, this is not the first time that Jack Dorsey has done something incredibly based. Twitter founder Jack Dorsey tweets image of JFK, advocates for the abolition of the CIA, NSA, and FBI. Splinter the CIA, NSA, and FBI into 1,000 pieces and scatter them into the winds, is what Jack Dorsey said. It's pretty, pretty, pretty bang on take. Got 28,000 likes, 7,000 reposts. I had an image, just a, just a link to an image of JFK. <laughs> Makes me wonder who is really behind this account. It's not me. <laughs> he's he's a base jack, says Alex. <laughs> this was from a year ago. It makes you wonder. I mean, it's 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 interesting. It makes you wonder. I would love to like. I would love to see more content with Jack Dorsey. Meaning, I would love to like listen to the guy. Like, I love to hear the guy talk a little bit more about what he believes and what what actually happened. Like, tell us the true story about what happened. What what descended at X. Like, what truly happened, Jack? Like, what was going on? What? How did that? Com how did that company get so destroyed? Um, and m more importantly, like, how do you stop it from happening again? It seems like an endorsement of Elon Musk is obviously a step in the right direction. Everybody has a good redemption arc. Um, we should allow Jack to have his. Okay, fighting against the deep state, fighting for freedom of speech. Yeah, you you're on my side then. We can ignore other differences for now. You're on my side. <laughs> you should be on my side. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It's your boy Benny. See ya.